and welcome to the third episode of JavaScript Interview Questions. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the revealing module pattern. So the example question is, how can you take an object literal like the one that's described here that has a property called data and three methods, render, add, and remove, and rewrite this as a revealing module pattern and only the render method is going to be able to be accessed from outside. So a person would write my module dot render. And that would be the only thing that they'd be able to access from inside of here. So the starter code is down in the description. There's a link to the uh, code gist. So you can take that, copy and paste it into your uh, IDE and give it a shot. See if you can turn this into a revealing module pattern, if you know what that is. If not, stick around in a second. I'll be back and I will walk you through the solution. Okay, welcome back. So, a revealing module pattern. First of all, a pattern. This is an approach to take when you're writing code. So there are a whole bunch of fairly common design patterns to take when writing your JavaScript if you're trying to build something. This is one of the patterns, the revealing module pattern. Module is some self-contained code. Revealing, we're going to see, is how we do this, how we expose only the things that we want. That's the reveal part. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We need to first start off with an iffy, which is an immediately invoked function expression. Let's create our, create our variable, my module. We're going to create an expression, and it is a function expression. So inside the parentheses for our expression, we put a function. After this, after the parentheses for the expression, we add another set, and this is what makes it run. So this is the immediately invoked, and this is the function expression. Okay, so what do we put inside of here? Well, inside of here, we're doing the exact same thing that we did here, with the difference where we have to use let to declare each one of these things, and instead of colons, we're putting equal signs. So we'll say let data or let's use an underscore because these are going to be private internal to this function. We're going to say let render equal. It's going to be a function. We're going to say let add is a function. And we'll have let remove also be a function. Okay, so we've created the same structure that we had down here. We have the same four elements. Now, the way this works, the way the reveal works is because these are all declared inside of a function, they cease to exist after the function has finished running. If we want to be able to use them afterwards and use them inside of this, we have to return something from the function. So we're going to say return, have an object, and then the object of this was to only expose the render method. So I need a property called render inside of here, and it's going to point to my render method here. And that's it. That's really, that's the whole thing. Now, if you're saying, well, what the hell was the point of putting the other three things inside there if we're only using the render? Well, these could be things like data dot push. So we're accessing this and we're adding something into there. Maybe this one's going to be data.pop to remove something from that array. And inside of here, maybe we've got click listeners that we add for add and remove. So when the person who's writing the code, who's using this module, including it on their web page, does my module.render, it's going to be able to run this. This is going to access these two methods because we're using the click listeners to get to these two methods and they're going to be accessing this data but anybody outside of the function anybody already who's accessing this module not writing code inside the module they're not going to be able to get to those things if we try my module dot data this will fail if we try to get to my module add
this will fail too. So we can't get to the other things inside. This is the only thing that's exposed because it's the only thing that's inside of here. If you wanted to expose the other things, you could. You could do this. Oops, don't need the curly braces there. We could do that. And that would expose the add method as well. But the point of our exercise here, our question was to only expose render, and that's what we've done. So that's the solution. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.